midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. Twenty minutes past ten. Keep up, doctor. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? David Hunt. I can change my skin. Then skins. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day. Ask me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I find something. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker cursed me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. There's someone else in my hour. I brought David back to life. I removed the chains, dressed her. It was Iris. We could try shifting now. Would you like to see David, Doctor? <laughs> Sorry. We both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and that broke. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are grateful if you could see your way to declaring me insane, or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame. And then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. He may just still pull out in front of the driver. Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're playing the Doctor Zen. He's decked The ground. Out. Oh, he decked it out right into the death deck. So, uh, is Scarlet going to refuse or accept? Oh, yeah, so we were talking to Scarlet last episode, and uh, we're going through some of the things she asked us if what she should do about her dream walking. Should we tell her to refuse the dream walk, which is what Jaya would tell us to do? I mean, I want to get with Jaya, so we should. I don't care. About, we're not, not trying me. to get ask, with ask Jaya. Ask the doctor. She wants us to no, get with her. No, we're not trying to get with Jaya. <laughs> Jaya is the tutorial. She's our clippy. She's like, hey, if you want to win the game, try to cure these people of their freaking illnesses. Oh, yeah. Don't make them kill themselves playing Russian roulette exactly. anymore. Exactly. So, okay. except they're just dreams. I don't know if we want. We want her to stop using her ability. All That's right, what yeah. Jaya would tell All us right, to do. I'm WWJD, fine. Jonas. What would Jaya do? <laughs> That's my new life motto. All, All right, right, let's. I'm gonna tell her to refuse. All right, yeah. Let's. If she gets mad, she leaves an effort, dude. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, refuse to dream. I don't like talking to her anyway. She's so not fun. If I could breathe through my ears, you wouldn't want to see it. I do say no. A lot. But I usually cave eventually. Okay. Well, so stop she... caving. All right. Scarlet wants to stop pushing people away. Maybe she should just refuse to dream walk for them or be honest about what might happen or accept her just dreams. Oh, my God. All right, fine. Okay, so we got to try all of them then. Well, I'm going to tell her the next best thing. Which yeah. Is, it's accept her just dreams. Yeah, I like that. It's difficult to do when you experience them like I do. Boom. But... I know what you're saying is right. 500 questions asked. There. A lot of the time, I assume people are controlling their dreams like I can. But they're probably directed by their subconscious. And uh, yeah. Who controls that? Your mom. All right. So I guess we got to be honest up there still. Let's, yeah. ask, let's get into some of these other questions, I think. Yeah, let's ask her if she was dating Decker, dude. All right. I'm game for that. He's dead now. So... I suppose it won't affect him if I admit that. So yes, I was. Not near the end though. Not when his dreams started changing. Like I said, my ability ruins relationships. So she was sliding on the you? old Decker. Jaya. Oh, she's jealous of Jaya. No, this is, uh, I can't remember who it was. It was either, no, it was Mariana that told us that Dr. Decker was dating Scarlett. And she said that he liked older women. 
and she seemed a little disappointed at the time. I remember that uh, from a previous. Oh, yeah. I remember uh, that being said. So, I don't know if we should. Uh, yeah, why Jaya? Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah what's why your Jaya? issue with Jaya? Just thought she'd know. Thought she'd know everything about her precious Dr. Decker. Oh, wow. Sorry. Her precious. We didn't speak that much. But she was a lot like the other woman. So much control over someone who was supposed to be her superior. Oh, so see, she, Jai is evil. And when she says the other one, she's definitely talking about Mariana. Guaranteed. But it's not even an option. It may show up after I think she's referring to Jai as the other woman. She's so much like the other woman. You think she's talking about like the, the ideal of the other woman? Well, no, because she just said she has so much influence over someone who's supposed to be her superior. Yeah, like the other woman. Yeah. So is the other woman like the idea of the other woman or is it the actual other woman? Maybe he was dating Jaya too. I don't think he was dating Jaya too. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. We already asked right, her let's, that. Let's be honest, and then we'll ask her about Valentine's Day. Fair enough. Double honest. Interesting. Oh, so don't be a liar. I How weird. I haven't really tried that. I might just give that a go. Yeah. Whoever thought that honesty would have been the best policy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we can ask her about her Valentine's Day experience. She yeah. said she wasn't messing with Dr. Decker towards the end, and we already know where Dr. Decker was at least two hours before he passed away um, or before he was murdered. She's like, I came in and stabbed Dr. Decker in the heart with a spike. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I was at home, got really pissed off. <laughs> All right, let's find out. Valentine's Day was awful. I had a bit of an accident with a creme brulee torch and had to spend the night waiting in A&E. I melted a nail to my finger. Oh! It hurt a lot and needed stitches. It's all fine now, oh! but then... She melted her fingernail to her finger. Why would it need stitches? With a crumble brulee torch. That's like a butane torch, yes. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! yeah. Oh my God, that's, ow! And I'm going to have to say is that uh, by looking at her finger, it did not look like she just recently melted her finger to her hand. Yeah. Why would it need stitches? I don't know. Anyways, anyways, not let's a, go to Glenn. I'm excited doctor. to hear about Glenn's life. All right. We will go to Glenn. Apparently, we're done with her. We're already, we're already orange with Glenn, too. So this is a good thing. Hey, Glenn. What's up, buddy? Who are hey, you? who are you? Who are you? Hi, I'm Glenn. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm Glenn. Uh, I didn't expect to be here. I was looking for the men's room. What? I'm just a rando who stumbled into the office. Oh, boy. Comedy. Comedy ensues. Here we go, Glenn. Oh, boy. This is your this is a doctor's office. I used to come in here and pee all the time. All right, Glenn. Why didn't you expect to be here, buddy? Like I said, I was in the green room. You know that new restaurant in town. Uh, I actually need to do something. Uh, you validate parking? Done. Sorry. Um, I was in the middle of a date and needed the restroom, and here I am. Wait, he has a lady waiting for him at the green room? What the hell's wrong with this guy? I don't know, man. He's definitely, uh, he's definitely a character. The restroom. Oh, dude, come on. We're really talking about the restroom with this man. <laughs> All right, why, fine. Do you, why doesn't he just say, oh, gotta go, I have a date, hot uh, date waiting? Next question is going to be, uh, do you prefer to stand up or sit down? You know? Yeah, he's like, I sit down, YP. He looks like a guy who sits down, YP. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you're not familiar with my case. Wait, what? I stepped through the restroom door into your office. Sometimes when I go through a door, it opens to another place oh my lord that's why he doesn't know where he is right, so this guy's a freaking planeswalker <laughs> he's a magic <laughs> the gathering i should ask glenn. i should ask glenn if jaya saw him walk in okay all right fair enough <laughs> well, there you go did jaya see you walk oh in? so you know that does make sense that 
uh, Z commented that like in the computer version you type your own because you would look at your notes to get suggestions what to ask him yeah, next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Did Jaya see it? No. I shouldn't imagine she did that. I, I didn't even pass through the waiting room. Besides, it's lunchtime. She won't be there. How do you know she won't be there if... Oh, yeah, that date's over with, buddy. You're not that impressive of a male to look in, in, in the yeah, first place. Yeah, see? How do you know Jaya's lunch schedule? Mm. He's like, I watch her all the time, of course. Mm. No, not really. But it's lunchtime, and you don't normally see patients now. Well, Dr. Decker didn't normally see patients now. So how do you know, Dr... This dude is... He's... I don't like his... Stupidness. You don't like his face? I'm not a fan of his hair. He's evasive, and his face is... And he has, a like, a, a subtle faux hawk that's bothering him. Yeah, you. and he's abrasive. There's a lot of sieves going on with this guy. Tell me about Dr. Decker, Glenn. Dr. Decker was crazy. I arrived late to the party. Uh, apparently, he was a fine, upstanding citizen before. I don't know what changed him. Of the few sessions I had with him... He'd observe me walking through doors. Okay. All right. I wonder if... What about he... his back door? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> what did he observe? But I'd walk through a door and I'd disappear. And then I couldn't get back. The session was £150 either way. So I paid that for a couple of times and then decided it was a bad idea. As you can see, it's still happening. Glenn, you look frazzled. <laughs> Glenn, it looks like you really have to take a pee. How do you ever go to the bathroom if you walk? If, like, there's so many doorways. Every time you go through a bathroom door, you end up not in the bathroom. Just fingers crossed. Just like, please let me just get into the bathroom and not end up in, like, Dubai. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, what's still happening? The doors. I'm still vanishing from one place to another. I don't like this guy. Dude, that that's honestly his power has gotta be like a living hell. <laughs> You're just like, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. You end up at like Walmart. <laughs> uh, just pissed off, dude. Just <laughs> pissed. I'd be so pissed. <laughs> so tired. I just want to go to bed. You, you just like, wake up in the middle of the night and have to take a piss or you know Walk and, out your bedroom and while you're sleeping, you end up at in a in a cockfight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a cockfight? Dude? Yeah, you're just like, like God damn it. All right, all right. What's causing your problem? Yeah, that's a good question. Can you? Yeah, what is causing? Dad died. He was on his deathbed, and I was complaining about work, women, or whatever. It was Nidian. He said, "When one door closes, another opens." Then he died. I needed those words to be important. So. Here I am. Wait, who said that? Said his father died. Oh, his father. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about Pops. He was stoic. He had tuberculosis in his lungs. That's what killed him. Nobody knew until the end. I never got to say I loved him. Oh, that's sad. That is sad. And uh, we'll talk more about how sad that is on the next one. Because that's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You already did that. You know, it goes ding. It's a bell. You hit it. Jonas. DNT. Uh, we out.